Ladies and gents, it's Cyberland coming back to another film review, and this time we're on to another western. This time, I, I don't like to use the term, but a black western, but a western nonetheless. used to watch occasionally BET back in the early 90s the music videos I saw this video for a song called Posse 
I don't remember the artist or anything, but the song, I liked it. It was it was cool. You know, it was a nice hip hop song. And um, I just remember some of the scenes from the film being incorporated into the video, and I was just like, you know, I want to see that someday. And lo and behold, the movie was on video, and I always saw the poster. I was like, I got, I want to see that movie. Didn't know it was Radar. I didn't really know what Radar films were at the time. And it was when Marino Val and my grandparents, I forget if it was summer or if it was around the holiday season. But my grandfather let me go rent a couple films, VHS, and this was one of them. And Gramps had a way of dubbing these films too. We had a way of hooking two B-stars together and copying the film for one. So I ended up having my own personal copy. I appreciate it. You did a lot for me when it came to movies like that. But the thing of it is, is that this film was not for kids. <laughs> not for kids at all. And that was probably one of my first experiences where I saw women with, you know, they weren't, they were halfway naked, if not fully naked. You know, I had never seen that before. So I was like, Shit. And I wasn't going to say anything because I wanted to watch the film. I didn't want them to be like, what are you watching? And, they, and then they stopped the film. So I, I was shh, shh, shh. Woo -woo. I kept quiet so I could watch the whole film. And then I never said anything because they, that I, and I think by the, I, I don't know. I don't know if my grandparents knew or not. To this day, I think what they probably knew, but they felt like I'm getting older, even though I was really, I was still in elementary. But it was one of those things where how many films are there where there's black males in there at, in a, a full, almost a full black cast? And this was one of the few films that did it. People talk about Black Panther, but I'm like, Posse was actually the first film I'd seen as a young kid that was almost a full black, if not a fully black cast. I mean, you had Mario Van Peebles directing it, but his dad, Melvin Van, the, the late Melvin Van Peebles um, was in it. Uh, Stephen Baldwin from the Baldwin Brothers was in it. Uh, Big, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Tony Lowe, um, Zeus, or Tiny, Tiny Lister. Uh, Isaac Hayes was in here. The guy from Family Matters, um, the, 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 fa the father, the policeman, I forget his name, but he's also in Die Hard. I'll be reviewing those two. He was in here. Uh, I think I said Billy Zane. Uh, the singer that was on stage, I forget her name, but she was in here. She had passed away, I think a while after the film, but she was a great singer uh, for what she did do. Uh, and Pam Greer, the gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful Pam Greer was in here. And that's just some, like, there's so many, like there's so many, I, I think, I think it was Melvin, Mario Van Peebles' dad, or, or Mario, that they knew so many black great actors in the business that they just, swooped in and said, hey, you want to be in this movie? Hey, you want to be in this movie? Because you, you had all these people that were like, they were the age of like more so Melvin than Mario to where it's like, okay, these are people that Melvin actually knew in the business and he just, mm, 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 just grabbed him and brought him in the film. Uh, so the film, it starts out where Mario Van Peebles is in is in Cuba with the, with the, the war and he's been put there because he had committed some crime he had committed a murder back in uh back in civilization he was given not he was given a choice of serving life in the military or be executed so he took life in the military which was pretty much they're saying we're just gonna use you until you die pretty much it so we, we you know either you die or we're gonna be able to use you until you get killed hopefully you get killed quick you know and you know he uh goes on a mission to retreat to stop a shipment, but it comes to find out it's not a shipment, it's actually money, gold. And he already knows they're being set up, that they're going to be killed for this gold. Well, then goes planned, Billy Zane, the villain of the movie, one of the villains, he's not the only villain, it doesn't go too well. They escape and they get back to civilization, get back to the United States. And during that, you're seeing flashbacks of Mario Van people or Jesse Lee's uh, father and little by little it turns into like well now that he's back in, in, in the United States he's going to seek vengeance for what happened to his father at the same time they're running from um, uh, Billy Zane's character uh, and then you just more layers coming back and you, you see 
certain elements of what black people were dealing with after um, slavery had ended. They built their own towns, but you know, still dealing with the KKK and you know the racist sheriffs and racist folk and trying to keep to themselves and trying to not be victimized. And then you know that the term I've learned, uh, all skin folk and kin folk. You see some of that in there too, because people you would think that would be for your own people are trying to be for themselves. And if that means shafting you to get to get some trinkets, they will. You know, the Judas Iscariot type of mentality. Uh, music was fine. Wish there had been a soundtrack for that, really. Um, characters were fine. I give it an 8 out of 10 yes, sirs. My only gripe was, I think, Tony Loke's character. He just wasn't as much as I, I thought. And when they show this picture where it shows all of the members together, it was just kind of like, it had been nice if they took that photo. Because when they show the photo, it's like, okay, when did they take that? Because of the, the mitigating circumstances within the film, you know? I felt Tony Loke should, should have had more time in there. And the one thing to this day that bothers me about the film, why I didn't give it a high rating, was, was Stephen Baldwin's character, what happened to him, how it happened. I felt how he, the way the character ended, I felt it should have been a lot more... I, I felt that... It should have been a blaze of glory type of thing, and it just wasn't. Um, and that, to this day, that bothers me. That that scene really bothers me. And it could have been any of the characters with that scene. But it just, if, it, if it had been Tiny, if it had been Wheezy, if it had been, uh, you know, Angel or Tony Loke's character, if it had been Big Daddy Kane, it didn't matter. Was the point was, when that scene happened, it could have been any of the members of the posse. And when it did, that just really irked me. Um, I just, to this day, I, I really, I understand what they were trying to do, but I detest that scene. I really do. Um, you know, it's just, I just don't, I, I, it just really bothers me. So, um, outside of that, it, it's, it's good. It's well written. It's very well paced. Um, action scenes, the western action scenes are good, the dialogue is good um, there was, outside of that one scene everything I felt was great, it was just a it's a fun film, and it's a very well um, written film that encompasses a black ensemble, I don't want to say a good black film, because it's like I don't, I don't like to call shit that but it, it, it encompasses a lot of great black actresses and actors and it, it was just I loved it, you know, and I gotta say, Pam Greer, that woman is just, man. Pam Greer is one of a kind. That, that woman has, I, that woman has yet to stop being gorgeous. Even though she's not really that much in the film, but I, I just gotta point that out. That woman has yet to stop being gorgeous. You know, people age, but Pam is, mm. So anyway, check it out if you've never seen it. You won't be disappointed. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.